What's up, beautiful people? <laughs> what a fucking win. Uh, look good, Lord. Game of the year, win of the year. I feel like we keep having these games where we just come back and somehow pull it off. What a win for our boys. They win it 10-8. to eight. Uh, After leading 7-2, to two, we're going to take a look at this game. What a fucking crazy game. I had to hop on here and talk about it. Short video, but let's get started. Let's do this. I know I've said it for 20 plus years, but I got a feeling this is the year. God, Tatis is such a sexy guy. Keep the faith, baby. One year soon, the baseball gods will smile on the San Diego Padres, and we will have a parade. Stay vibrant, Friar Faithful. And now your handsome host, Beto Diaz on Friar Field Talk. So jumping right back into it, Padres win 10-8. to An insane game. Come back from behind. Uh, just this game had it all. Jackson Merrill with the big knock to get down the line for the triple to score in a couple of them. Uh, Randy Vasquez pitches a really good game. Started off a little shaky, but finds his stuff. Higgy keeps adding on to his home run tally, hence sends one to left. Profar comes up huge in the ninth to tie it after an abysmal ninth inning from Enyel, and Machado walks it off. But let's go ahead and look at this game. It was a doozy. Uh, like I said before, Vasquez starts off really crappy, allows a home run to Jock Peterson. I cannot believe he's still in the fucking league, and I still cannot believe that he's out here hurting us. But he ends up hitting a two-run shot here, start the game off. But we come back really quickly. Merrill gets a force out to make the game 2-1, to one, make it a close game. Vasquez starts to slow down and slowly start finding his stuff. Merrill gets the really big hit of the fourth inning here that gets us on the board. And you would think that this might have been the biggest hit of the game at some point, some last year. But it wasn't. Huge hit, though. Goes down the line. Scores two. Merrill was chugging around the bases. Hardly ever see triples down here at Petco Park. But Merrill made it sure he got one here. A really good piece of hitting from Merrill. A bad pitch all over the place, right over the middle. Had no break. Merrill makes him pay. Sends it down the right. Slays to Sony with a really horrible game. Uh, but like I mentioned in the... In the... Uh, the minute mound visit that he had been some really shaky outings in his last six games. Had a feeling he might get shaken up a little bit. And boy, did he. He ends up going, let's go check the notes, four and two-thirds, eight hits allowed, five run runs, one walk, two Ks. Vasquez, on the other hand, shines, goes six and a third, does allow the six hits, but they were kind of peculiar. They were never really back-to-back -back besides that first inning. Uh, two earned runs, one walk, six Ks, and does allow that one home run that we saw off to Jock Peterson. Really, really good stuff from him. Elite stuff. Was able to get into the seventh inning, had 102 pitches. Wandy came in and took care of business. But a really, really good effort from Vasquez. Stuff you really like to see. David Peralta also keeps on to his hitting. He adds on and doubles to add on a run to make it 4-2. to two. He got Shioka also has a really good really good game might go under the radar just with how crazy the game ended but he ends up getting three hits today obviously he has that big hit we're going to show right now in the sixth inning he kind of opens up the game a little bit at this point you're like this game is fucking over uh what a bomb right there takes a really good approach to the ball sends him pack in makes it a seven to two game like i said before three hit game for higashioka He's come alive the past month and a half now. Uh, obviously, Campusano did get activated today from the DL. Eggy Rosario did get optioned. But the way that Kyle Higashioka is swinging the bat, you got to keep him in the lineup. Unfortunately, shit hits the fucking fan in the ninth inning. Alec Thomas comes up. Enyo De Los Santo comes in to pitch the ninth. Gets one quick out from Christian Walker, who was hotter than fish grease against the Dodgers. But seemed to cool off this, this game at least. Hopefully, we can keep him quiet. But my God, back to back to back to back runners come up. We have to bring in Suarez. It's a 7-2 to game. And Alex Thomas fucking hits a piss missile. First pitch swinging off of Suarez. Sends it to deep right center. And at this point, you're like, Jesus Christ, are we going to throw this fucking game away? Has such a great potential to take us game one of the series. Get us six game over five. And we're shitting the bed having to bring in Suarez on three days straight. A really bad bullpen management from Schilt. Obviously, he gets his ass fucking saved by his offense. But a horrible, horrible decision to bring in Enyel and leave him in the game to load the bases and then bring in Suarez on, on his third straight game. 
Obviously, the guy's not going to have it. He's not going to have his normal stuff. I could have fucking told you that. I bet you were sitting there watching the game thinking the same thing. But Suarez does shit the fucking bed, allows the Grand Slam to Alex Thomas, and Randall Grichuk pins hits for Ketel Marte, arguably their best hitter, and hits one to the fucking Western medal. It's like you're living a fucking nightmare. Arizona takes an 8-7 to lead. I thought this game was fucking over. I can, You can be positive all you want. I know there's a select few out there, aka my sister, that says, well, we're still going to win this game. I thought she was full of shit, and boy, was I so happy to be wrong. Jurek's in Profar, what a fucking... I mean, at what point do we start making the statue for this man? Takes a ball right in the zone to right field and barely gets over right field wall. Those guys are waiting for it to come down. It finally goes. We tie the game 8-8. Eight to eight. Seawald looked really abysmal. He had blown his last save yesterday against the Dodgers as well, so that's two straight blown saves for him. Obviously, the big knock from their starting left fielder in the All-Star game, Jerickson Profar, to tie the game. Cronenworth also comes up and has a really sneaky good at-bat that might get remembered. He managed, he manages to get a walk to set that guy up. Tyler Wade then pinch runs for him, who was looking to steal, had really two good jumps, but Manny managed to foul the ball back, but it really didn't matter because the big hit and the big moment of the game comes from Manuel Arturo Machado. Capital One walk-offs. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor. Takes a ball on the inside, stares at it, and fucking says it 10, 20, 10, 15 rows back. What a fucking home run from Machado. I went fucking berserk. I was jumping up and down in my living room. My dog was going fucking crazy at me because I was being a fucking lunatic myself. But if you weren't jumping up and down after a game like this... Hey, someone's got to check your, your heart rate, your pulse, if you have blood flowing. Because what a win for our boys. They take this one 10 to 8. A phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. I can't even talk. I'm still running off of this crazy energy that we had from this game. Just a, an elite show of confidence from our boys to come back from a horrible ninth inning like that, allowing six runs to the Diamondbacks and managing to win the game. I had to hop on here and talk about it just a little bit with you guys because I'm still like going crazy and feeling the vibes. Uh, tomorrow on the bump, we'll have Matty Knuckles Waldron. He's got a 5-7 and seven record with a 3.56 ERA. He's going against Brandon Fott, who's been roughed up but has been pitching decent in the in the last couple of games. He's got a 3-6 and six record with a 4.28 ERA. That game is tomorrow at 640. Keep up the vibes. What a fucking win for our Padres. Had to come on here to talk it with all of you guys because what a win this was. What a way to start the series. Let's hop in the hope that we can continue and not have such dramatic shit tomorrow. Get the win tomorrow. Secure the series win and not have to worry about Sunday. What a win for our boys. Stay vibrant. Keep packing the stands. The most sold game ever at Petco Park today. You guys are beautiful. I'm beautiful. I know it. You know it. Stay vibrant. Go Padres, baby.